Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about my favourite productivity tool, something that I use um, religiously or I have done for the last couple of weeks and it's it's fantastic, it's really saving me time. So I um, wanted to share that with you. So the website is called loomly.com, so that's L-O-O-M-L-Y.com and um, basically it's a place where you can schedule all of your social media posts. Um, you can schedule Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Google+, Plus, um, and you do them all on one kind of calendar and they all post out at the times that you want them to. So let me just take you through it quickly and show you what I mean. So um, you go to loomly.com, you register, they have, um, they have a free trial, I believe, for a month or two weeks, something like that, and it's not so expensive. It's a real great time saver. So um, you go to, I've got a few calendars on here, but if I go to my Ask Deborah calendar, you can see that I've got some posts um, ready to go for this week. Um, and I'll just show you how to make a post. So I'll just do a quick quote or something for today so that you can see um, how that works. So you go to the right hand side, you go new post, you check the date that you want that post to run. So it'll automatically come on today's date. And um, let me see if I'm going to run it. I'll just put um, Thursday's date just to and um, move it along a little bit and I'm going to put 9.13 a.m. because that's the time it says. Now your subject is for your eyes only so if you're doing a post for a blog or a quote or something like that it just gives you an idea of um, you know what the subject is at a glance. So then we'll click continue and then you choose which platform you want that post to go on. So for the purpose of this I'll go Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and I think Pinterest as well. OK, and then you click continue and then here you would upload what you want to go. So if it's a if it's a photo um, you would upload that here, if it's a video underneath um, and I'm just going to pick a quote. And then it shows you the quote once it's loaded here. And then here I just write a few words. So um, So I'll just put some words there, spelling mistakes, apologies. <laughs> okay, and then normally I'll put my, um, my website as well. So then we go to the continue button and you can see the quote at the top here, it tells you what it looks like on each platform. So at the moment we're on Facebook, it shows you the quote, shows you my words, the time and date, um, and then the copy here if you wanna change it. And then down here, this is the fantastic thing. It tells you um, whether it's the right time to, to post, whether the format's good, the copy's engaging, um, and all of that kind of thing. Now, I never really listen personally, you might want to do this, but I am, um, I like to write longer things on Facebook, so I never really worry too much about the copy length, but the time, um, it's, yeah, we might change that time a bit. So let's go, let's go PM and we'll go 5.13. It's still not liking it at all. Uh, we could play around with this all night really, um, but I won't, I'll just do that. Ah, yep, yeah, it's saying now um, a couple of hours earlier. So let's go 3.15. There we go. So now it's saying the time is good. Okay. So um, so that's on Facebook. Then if we go to Twitter, we look down here and it'll tell us the time's not good. Um, copy length, copy engagement. So um, I might want to put on the copy just for the Twitter one is um, some hashtags. Okay, so I've put a couple of hashtags, um, which has now got rid of the engagement, that's good now. The time's still not good, um, so if we change that to PM again and work it from there, I think we go five. Yep, yeah, the time's good now. So then we go to Pinterest. Um, I don't really, you know, put a lot more on Pinterest. It is saying the copy's a bit short um, and the time's not optimal so they do like Pinterest does like to be done at night so I'm going to go 8.13 on that one and the time's good now and then the finally Google Plus um, 
it says everything's good except the copy so I'm just going to leave that as it is so once you've tweaked all of those you then click continue um, here, I won't do it for the purpose of this video or the video will go on too long, but here you can pick your audience of who you want to see that on the different platforms. So um, we won't do that right now. Um, and then you just check all those things off and then you click schedule and that's done. So I've just posted on four different platforms really, really quickly. Um, and you can schedule those out for the whole week, the whole year, the whole month, you know, however many you want to do. Um, and it just goes via this little calendar. It then shows you what you've got going on for that week. So that's pretty much um, Loomly. It saves me so much time being able to uh, post on all of those platforms. I um, hope that's been helpful to you. I will put a link below this video um, of the Loomly website if you want to sign up and have a try yourself. As I say, they do do a free trial, so um, it might be worth just taking part in that. No credit card details are required for the free trial, which is great, um, and just see how you get on. So I hope that's been helpful. Chat to you soon.